Oh, yeah, come on in. Of course we're open, yeah. I know it's later than our usual hours, but during this Halloween season, we'd like to extend those late into the night to get that extra Halloween atmosphere. So, yeah, how can I help you? Sit down. Yeah, you can put your coat there on the hook, no problem. Yeah, so what can I do for you today? Oh, okay, so you have a Pokemon TCG Halloween party coming up. Now, I must say I'm a little bit jealous of that. That sounds amazing. So, are you looking for a couple specialty cards to show off, or some cards to add to a pre-existing deck, perhaps? Or are you needing to craft a deck from the ground up today? All right, a brand new deck. That is my absolute favorite answer. So. Perfect. Let me ask you a few questions so that I can get on board with exactly what you're looking for. Do you have any Pokemon cards specifically in mind or a, a type in mind? Or are you kind of an open book tonight? All right, an open book. Perfect. Now, I'll still give you some a narrowed view of suggestions. That way you don't get lost in all of the options. So um, I think I know just the thing. Now, the most important important question I have for you tonight is, are you looking to impress your friends during this Pokemon tournament? Okay, perfect. So you want something that is a little bold, um, has a bit of flair, and shows attention to detail. I think I know just the thing. Now, if you will allow me to, I will provide you with our utmost premium quality contents and add-ons for your Pokemon deck tonight that I think will wow your friends and make you the envy of the party. And in order to really delve into that Halloween theme, I think I'm going to make a dual type deck for you tonight. How about dark and psychic type? How does that sound for you? That sounds good, all right. Yeah, it. I think if we go for the right type of dark Pokemon, I think we can get the perfect feel for that Halloween-themed party. Now, is there a particular era or generation of sets that the party is themed around? Okay, Generation 5, black and white. All right, there are some great sets from that generation that I think will be absolutely perfect to craft a wonderfully unique deck around so um I, yeah i know a lot of those tcg themed parties they have a specific era that everyone has to craft their decks around it makes it just a little bit more of a wild card a little bit more fun all right that is great okay so what i'll do is i will go and get a handful of cards bring them back and see if there's anything else you'd like to add or if that'll work for you all right give me one moment all right, I have a great selection of cards for you to hear. So, what I did with this deck, I wanted to make it a bit devious for the Halloween theme. I wanted to keep it ghost only in the psychic type and some spooky Halloween themed dark types. Now, I went for a little bit of trick or treat style for this deck where we really want to be disruptive to our opponent's deck and really give ourselves the bonus on their misfortune. So you'll see what I'm talking about when we get to some of your more featured cards. So your first basic, we have the wonderful ground ghost type, Golet, debuting in that generation five. Now, as you can see there, this Golet is a nice quick card here. There's no pomp or frill with its attacks. You have nap which allows you to heal 40 damage from this Pokemon. And you have Pound, which this card is great as a starting basic because it has a nice 90 HP, which will buy you some time. And it only requires one Psychic type energy. So the rest are colorless in case you happen to only draw your Dark type energies early in the game. This will be easily usable for you. There are three of those Golet there. And to go along with such a nice little Pokemon. We have a wonderful Golurk there at 130 HP. Golurk is such a nice ghost Pokemon, sometimes overlooked, but with a nice typing of ground and ghost, super unique. And I think with most of your 
party goers, probably selecting the more common Gengars or Haunters. I think a Golurk will be something of a nice surprise for the members of your party. So we have a nice um, de-evolution punch and ghost hammer there. The de-evolution punch will actually allow us to de-evolve our opponent's Pokemon. And the ghost hammer allows 90 damage and eliminates all weakness from our Pokemon during your opponent's next attack, which is great. Sticking with your basic ghost Pokemon, we have two Yamask cards, another wonderful Generation 5 exclusive, or I guess introduced ghost Pokemon. We have Transfer Pain on this Yamask. This is actually two separate Yamask. And what's interesting about this, the artwork for the Pokemon is actually the exact same with only the background and the horizontal flip of the Pokemon image, which is very interesting. So you will see that there are two separate attacks here. The first has transfer pain, which as you can see, you'll allow, excuse me, you'll allow you to move one damage counter from this Pokemon to one of your other Pokemon. And we have Will-O-Wisp on your other Yamask, which provides a nice 10 damage and Ram for a quick 30 damage, a more straightforward Yamask variant. Another nice basic. Moving on to your next dark type basic card, we have Zorua right here. We have three of these wonderful Pokemon. We have Ascension, which allows you to search the deck for the evolution of this Pokemon and immediately place it on top, which is absolutely great, along with a scratch for a quick 20 damage. The dark type card here, I think the black and red of Zorua is really nicely placed for the Halloween type theme when it comes to dark Pokemon. Not all dark Pokemon are great for that kind of atmosphere or vibe of a deck, but I think this particular Pokemon is quite perfect. Now to go along with that, we have the fan favorite werewolf style, Zoroark. This Zoroark is very, very tricky in its type of actions given in the game and in the other anime or movie media. It is an illusion Pokemon and is perfect for that trick or treat type deck. This Pokemon has nice attacks with it too with Brutal Bash, which does 20 damage times the number of dark Pokemon that you have in play. So this will work perfectly with your other dark Pokemon. The later you play this card in your, in your game, the more powerful it might become on top of the 20 damage, if you say have three dark type Pokemon, that is a nice 60 damage quickly. Then we are also have Dark Rush, which does 20 damage times the number of damage counters on this Pokemon. So once again, a late game rush right here to kind of finish off an opponent who is perhaps weakened. So what a great Pokemon to go with that. So moving on to your Next dark type basic, we have a nice Houndour. Houndour is such a classic Halloween Pokemon. While not a ghost type, the skull and fire type aesthetic to Houndour and Houndoom is perfect for this type of scenario. As you can see, a straightforward Pokemon, which is nice to just get yourself quickly moving in that early game with 60 HP. It's not the most hardy Pokemon like your Golet, but a quick hitter with Bite doing a quick 10 and Darkness Fang doing a nice 30. So we have three Houndour there. And to pair nicely with it, we have your wonderfully illustrated Houndoom here. As you can see that Houndoom with that forked tail, those curved horns and that skull type feature around its neck. Houndoom is the perfect Halloween Pokemon. With Bite, 
upgraded from 10 damage to 30 upon evolution, we have also Fire Fang for a nice burn, our first status condition that we see applied with this deck, which you see will become very important with one of our next cards. So we have two Hound Dooms there added in that deck. As you can see, a nice blend of dark and psychic types thus far. Now, for your first big time card here, we have three Team Plasma Edition Giratina. As you can see, we have one hollow foil variation in this deck, as long as well as two non hollow. Now, what's nice about this card is it plays very, very well with your status conditions. As you can see, 130 HP for a basic Pokemon is quite nice. And given an early draw, this can be a quick wrap up for your opponent. We have Hex, which does 50 damage plus 50 additional damage if your opponent has that nice status condition, which with our Houndoom, we will be applying. It also has Shadow Claw, which allows you to discard a card from your opponent's hand at random on top of 90 damage, which is quite disruptive. This card being that Ghost Beast is quite the, I'd say, shake up for that Ghost Halloween variety, but I think one that will impress your friends quite a bit with that nice Team Plasma Blue border. I think it's going to be great for you, and you'll see it pairs nicely with one of our first trainer cards, which I'll show you. And last but not least, our last Pokemon card in your, well, I guess Pokemon in your Pokemon card deck. This is the headliner of your deck, and we have none other than the perfect Halloween Wraith, Darkrai EX. Now, this is the only card that is not from the Plasma Storm or Dragon Exalted sets. All of your other cards are from both of those sets. This is actually a promo from the Black and White era, but this Darkrai EX is beautiful with that full hollow and that perfect dark aesthetic that I think pairs nicely with a late Halloween night. So... The abilities for this EX card at its 180 hit points and obviously basic status, we have a nice ability of Dark Cloak. This is where you'll see it pairs nicely with this type of deck. It allows any Pokemon who has at least one Dark type energy on it to have free retreat cost. Now, that will become quite important with your cards like Houndoom, who can apply that burn with that fire fang, or your Golurk, who has a quite substantial four energy requirement. So, since all of your cards require at least one colorless energy, you can supply one of those energy cards with a dark energy and take advantage of your Dark Cry's Dark Cloak and switch them in and out. Perhaps a quick attack with Dark Cry on your next turn flip Houndoom in, apply Burn, and then retreat it for free on your next turn to bring your Darkrai back in. Now, you can also apply Burn with Fire Fang and with Darkrai's ability, switch out on your next turn to hit that 50 plus 50 with your Giratina. Quite a utility card here. We also have Night Spear, which does a instant 90 on top of 30 damage to N opponent's benched Pokemon. Of course, I must remind you that a knockout of an EX Pokemon does result in your opponent recovering two of its prized cards, but I think given the early punch that this card can offer you, as well as the blend of usefulness to your other cards, I think it can result in some early wins. So are these Pokemon sufficient for your needs, or do I need to go and Give you a couple other options. Perfect. Okay, that's what I'd like to hear. All right, I'll take you quickly through some of your trainers, stopping briefly on the most important ones. To go along with that Giratina, we have this nice Hypnotoxic Laser. Now, this card is 
wonderful. It's that team plasma border, as you can see. It allows you to instantly poison your opponent's Pokemon. And if you flip a coin and receive a heads, that Pokemon is also asleep. So this card is absolutely devastating for your Pokemon, uh, or your opponent's Pokemon, that is. So playing this first and then hitting it with that hex ability from your Garatina will result in a quick devastation to any opponent. You have two of these Hypnotoxic lasers in your deck. We also have some Pokemon tool cards, as such as this giant cape, which allows you to gain an additional 20 HP to the Pokemon that it is attached to. We have just some nice cards like Revive that allows you to replenish a card from the discard pile. We have Energy Retrieval, which allows you to do the same from the discard with your energies. We have Energy Search, which allows you to find a basic energy card. We have Team Plasma Ball, which this is perfect because it allows you to search for a Team Plasma Pokemon, aka your Team Plasma Giratina. So this allows an early draw of that Giratina before hopefully your opponent has a chance to set up. We also have Team Plasma Grunt, which allows you to discard one of your extra Giratina to draw four cards in case your hand is getting quite low. We also have some Pokemon communication to find some ev evolutions of your current cards, as well as some Sharon's for draw three cards. Just some of your basic trainer cards, as well as some of those powerful synchronizing ones, such as your lasers and your Team Plasma Ball. So, will those trainers suffice for you? Excellent. The last portion of the cards are your psychic energy cards, as well as your smaller but equally as useful dark type cards. So, how do those cards look for you? Excellent. Now, on to the additional portions of your Pokemon trading card deck. So, I think the next thing that we will go through is your deck box. Now, I told you I was going to provide you with the utmost premium of quality. So I will, I say I must suggest that you take our premium deck box. This wonderful jet black deck box will easily, yes, that is quite high quality. This will protect your cards and provide you with ample space for more than 60 cards fully sleeved of course it has a nice compartment on the top for any dice coins or damage counters anything like that as you can hear that fit is quite snug and will maintain a very secure hold on any of those items to access the main compartment, we simply slide it open and place your cards inside. This, I think, will match perfectly your purple and black color scheme here. What do you think? You won't be disappointed, I promise. Okay, now that we have your deck box, we simply get to decide what we are going to fill it with. So, my next question is card sleeves. I have multiple colors, but if you would permit me, I think I have the perfect option for you. Perfect. One moment. These amazingly textured purple card sleeves, I believe, will go absolutely perfect with your deck. Not only bringing all of the color schemes together with your ghostly purple, but it will also provide a nice counterbalance to your black theme deck box. So I have three packages of 60, which I will, of course, sleeve the cards you are purchasing here tonight, but it will provide you with extra card sleeves, given the opportunity to expand on your deck. 
perfect. Okay, I knew you would like these. Now I want to go ahead and show you the quality before you make that final decision. We have a nice texture there on the back and a clear front to provide obviously a great look at your cards but make a nice texture for picking up and shuffling your deck. All right, so I will set aside your extras and before we sleeve those we need to go ahead and select your dice and your damage counters since you are going full premium tonight i am going to go ahead and show you the selection for our premium damage counters we have a nice acrylic poison and traditional burn style damage counter here new in plastic of course these will be placed directly in your deck box. No need to go for the standard cardboard damage counters if you are going premium, that is. We do have them in stock, but I don't think they match as well with the current style of your selections. So I will go ahead and unpackage these for you since you want this deck to be immediately playable. So as you can see, we have a nice quality, thick damage counter here. I'm sorry, status marker that is. So I will place both of them in your deck box. Next, your coin. Now, I wanted to go ahead and give you a coin that worked with both Pokemon types, but also gave you flexibility to use it in some other decks of the Generation 5 variety, that is. But I wanted to really bring the Generation 5 theme together for this coin, since some of our Pokemon in the deck are not actually from Gen 5. This coin will remind you what era you are playing in. I have a nice black and white Zekrom and Reshiram coin here. Official Pokemon coin, of course. Premium, undamaged, and brand new in your deck box. Perfect, and we are coming together quite nice. Now, I have three options for premium damage markers. We have three separate colors, all the same quality, but I wanted to give you an option because I think all three would be a great choice. First up, we have this nice dark purple. This, I believe, is an obvious candidate given the really nice color match with your card sleeves but once again i want to make sure you have the option all three of these options have the same exact dice inside we have a nice slightly lighter fuchsia color if you wanted to maybe blend both colors together a little bit and maybe stand out a bit from your card sleeves and if you wanted to really lean into that midnight feel, we have a wonderful crimson black with gold lettering, which I do say matches quite nice with the color scheme of your Houndoom, of course. So, given these three options, which do you believe would fit your style the most? the deep purple. I would have chosen the same myself, but I am glad that we share such fine taste. I'll go ahead and open these for you as well. I want to go ahead and make sure that you are able to use this deck the second you walk out of the door. You never know when a challenge is going to arrive your way. Look how beautiful those dice are. They even look even more stunning out of the package. We have several different varieties of damage counters here, which can be utilized up to heavy damage or more moderate with the four, up to four on this dice. So you have multiple options and a quite flashy and stunningly beautiful set here. A wonderful choice. So. I will place these in your deck box here on your top compartment. I can tell this is going to be a lovely, 
looking deck box and full deck already. So let's go ahead and set these slightly aside and get your card sleeved. It won't take us any time to sleeve these cards. We want to make sure that all of your selections are protected. Wow, look how nice that looks with that just ever so slight purple border around that black dark right card. That is, that absolutely looks fantastic. As you can see, it slightly draws from that subtle purple color in the middle of dark right where the black meets the red and accentuates it with that subtle purple border that shows. What a great looking card. We will go ahead and place that in your deck. We will start with your heavy hitters first. We have your Hallow Giratina. So is this your first time at the TCG store buying a deck with us? It is, okay. You've been to our showroom in the past to buy some singles, okay. Yes, that is quite the popular portion of our store. A lot of customers really enjoy that experience and like shopping for those higher end single cards, which I can't blame them. I'm quite the, the collector myself, so I'm glad that you were able to take advantage of that service we offer. We do have newer cards in stock and new additions to our collection. If you are looking to acquire some new rare cards in the future, or even tonight, that is, you're in a hurry tonight afterwards, no problem. But I do suggest you come back soon and check out what we've got back there. I can assure you they are not to be missed. And to the yeah, mask. What is your favorite? Pokemon from Generation 5. It was really quite the interesting generation because it was almost like a reset of the Pokemon franchise. As it, you can see when looking at the Pokedex, it does copy a lot of styles and kind of Pokemon varieties from Generation 1, and it's very similar in kind of the setup and makeup of that generation. So. It's a, a really robust generation of Pokemon with lots of new creatures. Really? I don't hear that one a lot, so that's, that's a really unique choice there. I always enjoy when people have just slightly out of the ordinary Pokemon taste it tends to make things slightly more interesting. You don't want everyone saying that, you know, their favorite Pokemon is all the same one. It's, it tends to be a little bit boring. And some Pokemon, you know, are overused and over-marketed. So it's nice to see some of those other Pokemon that you don't often hear the names of get a little bit of shine and a little bit of love. That's great. It, one of my favorites as well. I don't know if it would be my top selection, but it's up there for sure. Do you have any other great plans for the Halloween season? Really? Hey, getting, uh, getting some candy this time of year is never a bad outcome. I have quite the sweet tooth at times myself. What's your go-to candy this time of year? Ah, it's classic. 
Now candy, on the other hand, you always want to go with the classics if you can. Looks like we are making good progress on your sleeves here. This deck is going to look fantastic, I can tell. That dice selection you made with these card sleeves, it just matches so well. I think the second you pull this out at that party, you are going to be the talk of the evening. And undoubtedly, the next question you'll get is, where did you get that deck box? Where did you get those dice? How did you come up with this deck? And you can simply take all of the credit for yourself. That is the beauty of this service is we, alongside you, create a really custom and unique deck that you can really take pride in and use over and over. And these decks have a lot of variability that allows for additional cards to be added or other kind of features of the playstyle to be manipulated or changed here and there. On to the trainers, the last portion of your deck. So speaking of ghost type Pokemon, what's your favorite ghost type? Ah, I see. Mine, I would have to say, you know, I'm quite, I'm quite fond of Frostlass myself. It's one of those ghost type Pokemon that is really unique, I think, and it's hard to obtain in game, so it gives it that kind of allure when playing the Pokemon video games. And it was one of those Pokemon that was added in Generation 5 to a pre-existing Pokemon from Generation 3. So it's just kind of got one of those neat features to it. And Snow Runt was somewhat difficult to gain in a lot of those Pokemon games. So it seemed like Generation... I'm sorry, I said Generation 5. Generation 4, that is. It seemed like a lot of those Generation 4 Pokemon had those kind of features like Magmortar, Electrovire, Tangrowth. They added evolutions to some of the older Pokemon. And some were quite hard to obtain because the items to evolve them were hard to find. Frostlass was one of those Pokemon. And I just like the kind of snowy vibe that it has with a little bit, a bit of a uh, spooky twist. One more sleeve here for your hypnotoxic laser. What a really fun Pokemon tool you're going to, or I guess trainer card. You're going to really enjoy using that. I'm going to put your Darkrai EX in the front. That way it is the first card that people see when you open this deck. I'm going to add your extra card sleeves if you want to add more Pokemon. As you can see, they fit perfectly in the back. These deck boxes are quite, quite big and allow for a lot of additions. So we now have the top portion to add. Perfect. And just look how wonderful that looks. And we have the nice lid here, and perfect. And just like that, we have a perfectly complete, as you can hear, there's nothing like the sound of a full, brand new deck box full of Pokemon training card goodies and wonderful customized features. So this deck, I'm sure, will give you quite the enjoyable matches and quite the boost of confidence and 
pride with the undoubtedly numerous amounts of comp compliments that you are definitely going to receive. So I really hope that you enjoy this deck. I hope even more that you enjoyed your experience here tonight. And please do come back and join us again. If you have any ideas for a Pokemon deck that you would like to construct, come on in and let's work together to make the most enjoyable Pokemon decks out there. So, without further ado, please enjoy your holiday and enjoy your Pokemon trading card Halloween event. Of course, take care and have a wonderful, wonderful night.